But regular Americans are getting kicked out of hotels just so migrants can stay there instead. Deanna and Gary are getting married. And the wedding party and guests are staying at a hotel in Newburgh, New York. Not anymore. Eric Adams bust Biden migrants to the hotel in Newburgh, and they kicked out the entire wedding party. Deanna and Gary join me now. So first of all, congratulations, you guys. But second Thank of you. all, <laughs> did Eric Adams, the mayor here, apologize at all for kicking your whole wedding party out of the hotel? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, not at all. He didn't send we you a gift off the apology. registry or anything? No. no. <laughs> okay. So let me get this straight. You guys have the wedding planned. Hotel is booked couple weeks away, now migrants are staying at your wedding hotel and you guys are scrambling. What exactly happened here, Deanna? So basically woke up um, the other morning and got a phone call from my sister that she turned around and to check out the news, look at your hotel. No phone call, no text message, no email from them about candy cancellations. I called them up and the first things out of their mouth were, I asked them, well, I asked them about the migrants moving, going in there. Is it going to be safe for my guests and ourselves to be there? They said, no, you have nothing to worry about. And in my heart, I'm thinking, okay, cool. And they're like, your, your reservation and uh, your contract's been canceled. Oh. And I go, oh, excuse me, <laughs> please repeat that for me, please. <laughs> and uh, so basically they said, no, there's nothing we can do. Everything's been taken care of. It's complete madhouse in here and there's nothing I can do. Talk to uh, choice. choice. And they turned around and I did. I called Choice twice. The first time I called, I was on hold for 45 minutes waiting for a supervisor. And I talked to one person. They said, there's nothing they can do. Nothing they can do. Call the hotel. They blamed the back and forth game. And as soon as I did speak with the supervisor, they turned around and the supervisor informed me that and there's nothing I can do. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye and hung up on me. <laughs> well, because the city's the probably paying twice the average rate for hotel rooms oh, because absolutely. the taxpayers are putting it up. Absolutely. It's yeah, all yeah. government money, yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, what are you guys planning on doing now? What Mayor Adams should do is maybe put you up at a nice place in Midtown and just comp the whole deal. But, but what is the exact game plan? The wedding is when? June 24th. Oh, boy. So yeah. is the venue um, the same, or do you guys think no, you might need to change venues? No, no. our venue's awesome. Our they have no connection with the hotel. They, um, they've actually been helping us try and brainstorm, like, more hotels or Airbnbs, like, stuff like that. They feel absolutely horrible um, for all this to be happened. So our venue is fine. Everything's going to go good there. It's just our hotel and what we're going to do with all of our guests. It's also the air show weekend. So everything is completely sold out. The hotels that are even like talking to us with possible rooms, they want to charge us anywhere from like three to four hundred dollars a night. Now our transportation, everybody like is going to be scattered. So um, we have one hotel that it has been doing great, so we have about 15 rooms blocked with them. Um, but we're, I mean, we don't have a place to go. We're looking at Airbnbs, we're looking... Well, if like anybody's watching right now, and they have accommodation connections in that area, in Newburgh, New York, let's make it happen for this lovely couple. We wish you guys all the best. I know it's right around Thank the corner, you. and we're gonna send you uh, maybe a copy of my book as a wedding gift. How about that? Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so That's much. awesome. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.